hello students today we learn about the terminology which is related to warm and warm gear for that purpose we refer one diagram so here this top portion is called as warm and this is the side of side view of warm then this bottom portion is called as a warm gear and this is the side view of warm gear if we uh, see some symbols are written in this diagram this lw is nothing but length of the warm this pa is the actual pitch distance that is distance between two corresponding teeth so from here to here this phi becomes pressure angle l is the lead if we use single star thread then l is equal to pa if we use double star thread then l is equal to 2 into pa that is lead is equal to number of start into pa if we see this x distance this x distance is nothing but center to center distance so uh, this is the diagram which we use for discussing the terminology we discuss one by one so first point is called as axial pitch it is also known as linear pitch of a worm it is the distance measured axially that is parallel to the axis of the worm from a point on one thread to the corresponding point on the adjacent thread on the worm as shown in figure number 1 axial pitch of the worm is denoted by pa if we see the figure again then <clears throat> so this axial pitch distance is parallel to the axis of the worm so this is the axis of the worm and this pa is parallel to that axis and if uh, we start measuring from this point then it ends at same location uh that is like first thread here uh, end uh, we end that distance so this pa is distance between two corresponding teeth or threads second important point is lead it is the linear distance through which a point on a thread moves ahead in one revolution of the worm for a single start threads lead is equal to the axial pitch but for multiple start threads a lead is equal to the product of axial pitch and number of starts if we see mathematically then l is equal to axial pitch into number of start third important term is lead angle for that purpose we refer this diagram so this is l that is pa into n lead distance this is pi into tw and this angle is called as lead angle lambda and this distance is ln this diagram is called as development of helix thread means if we open the thread then that thread is like this it makes uh, some angle now this lead angle if we see the definition it is the angle between the tangent to the thread helix on the piece cylinder and the plane normal to the axis of the worm it is denoted by letter lambda if we refer this figure and if we write down the formula then uh, we get tan lambda is equal to lead of the worm divided by piece circum circumference of the worm if we substitute the values then we get tan lambda is equal to l upon pi into dw but we know that lead is equal to axial pitch into number of start we substitute here and in case of worm and worm wheel this pa that is axial pitch is equal to circum uh, circular pitch of mating gear that is pc pc is circular pitch so pc into n upon pi into dw but we know that pc is pi into m that is uh, pi into module into n divided by pi into dw this pi pi gets cancelled so 
uh, which is equal to m into n upon dw where m is called as module pc is circular pitch of mating here which is equal to pa and dw is piece circle diameter of the worm the lead angle lambda may vary from 9 degree to 45 degree for a compact design the lead angle may be determined by the following relation that is tan lambda is equal to ng upon nw bracket raised to 1 upon 3 where this ng is called as speed of the worm gear nw is speed of the worm so if we use compact size then by using this relation we get the lambda angle now if we want to calculate the tooth pressure angle we already see the tooth pressure angle in our figure number one <coughs> this angle is called as tooth pressure angle that is phi so it is measured in a plane containing the axis of the worm and is equal to one half the thread profile angle as shown in figure number one the following table shows the recommended 